So to get started, you'll go to sdsu.zoom.us and you'll sign in with your SDSU ID. This will create your account. To download Zoom, you'll go to Resources and Download Zoom Client. After you're done installing Zoom, you can open up the Zoom client. You'll sign in with SSO and the company domain is SDSU. This will open up a web browser and whatever SDSU ID is signed into Zoom will be the one that connects to the Zoom client. Once you have the Zoom client open, you're going to see several options. You can create a new meeting, join a meeting, you can schedule a meeting, which is what we recommend for online course meetings and scheduling office hours. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to get started right now and just create a new meeting. So once you create a new meeting, you'll see your invitation URL. This is the URL that you can send to participants so that they can join your meeting. You can paste this URL to your learning management system, whether that be Blackboard or Canvas, and you can also send an email out to all of the students with this URL. If you were to schedule a meeting, the URL would stay the same every time. But if you're creating new meetings each time, you'll have to post a new link each time. You'll also see down at the bottom your audio and video settings. This is where you can change the microphone that you're using. You can also change the video settings. You can see right now that my video is turned off. To turn it on, I'd start video. And to turn it back off, I hit stop video. You can also mute your audio and unmute. If this is your first time using Zoom, it might be a good idea to check your audio settings. You can test your microphone and test your speaker to make sure that they're working correctly. To manage the participants of your Zoom session, you'll click Manage Participants, and this is where you can mute all participants or you can mute individuals. If you're hosting a session with a lot of participants, it may be recommended to not allow participants to unmute themselves, and this will also mute new participants that join the session. The chat function can be useful for asking questions and polling. Zoom also has the ability to let you share your screen. When you share your screen, you can select multiple options. You can share your entire desktop or a single application. If you go to advanced, you can also share just a portion of your screen. If you share just a portion of your screen, you'll be able to select what portion of your screen your audience sees. To stop sharing your screen, you go to stop share. One powerful function of Zoom is the ability to record your sessions. To do that, you'll hit the record button and you'll have the option to record on this computer or record to the cloud. It's highly recommended that you record to the cloud. Your recordings will be stored on your Zoom account and you'll go to recordings and you'll have all of your recordings there. For more information and help with advanced functions and training videos, visit its.stsu.edu slash zoom.